this is the free motion quilting tutorial for brittle starfish. This design starts with a small circle and then go inside that circle and stitch a spiral. Once you have that created, then you're going to simply branch off with a long wiggly line, come to a point, and then echo back, but you want to leave a lot of space. You want to leave, um, this is a small scale design and I'm leaving at least a half an inch, three-eighths to half an inch. So that way I have space to go back in and fill that little wiggly line with circles. And this is actually another design called Chain of Pearls. So you might want to go back and check out that design to get practice on stitching this version of it. Because it's a little easier to stitch that uh, kind of in an edge-to-edge -edge format than it is to stitch this going from the center. But it is, it isn't actually that challenging. Just set your, kind of get your foundation by stitching the wiggly line, leave yourself some space, and then simply stitch inside of it with these circles. And you want these to kind of stack together, and the lines actually allow you to have something to base your circles off of. So you can kind of estimate your space and estimate how big your circle needs to be. Once you finish your entire circle and uh, your entire kind of wiggly tentacle line, then just simply stitch all the way back with an echo. So that way that builds up that entire kind of starfish wiggly tentacle and makes it stand out on the surface of your quilt. Then you're going to continue to stitch back and this time I'm actually echo, I'm travel stitching along the side of that um, wiggly tentacle leg. It's really up to you if you want to continue to echo stitch or if you want to travel stitch back down. Regardless, you want to get back to that center circle and branch off with a new wiggly tentacle. Again, leave some space for yourself so that way you can get back into the center and then simply fill that area with circles. This is a center fill design. Uh, it starts in the center and works its way back out. So this is going to be a design that works best in the open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt. Once you get most of your tentacles filled, or at least two next to each other, what do you do with the rest of that space? Well here's how I filled the excess space on my block. I just simply started in the center, kind of stitching a V, and went back and forth filling in with these echoes. It's really entirely up to you how you want to fill in the background. You could take this exact same design and stitch many other designs from the project in the background. You could fill it with stippling, you could fill it with echo shell. Uh, really, the sky's the limit with what you do in the background. Uh, but you can see how these little subtle echoes add to the design and they make the starfish really stand out. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Brittle Starfish. Find over 350 free motion quilting designs at the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's at freemotionproject.com.